Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. The first thing you want to do is butterfly your shrimp. Just take a sharp knife down the back side of the shrimp, just the same way you would devein it. Go three quarters of the way through and fan it open like this. As you can see, front and back are still intact. Now here we've got our tempura and our coconut. We'll take our shrimp and we'll dip it straight in the tempura. Now I've made it a little bit thicker than normal. And if you don't know how to make that, then just click the link here on the left. But after you get it completely soaked, just drip dry it and dip it in your coconut on all sides and make sure it's completely covered. Now just on a side note, having a thicker tempura allows you to get more coverage of the coconut and it keeps you from having to use panko to fill the spaces. And that's it. That's how it looks. Once you get enough of them done and you've covered a plate, you can move to the frying. Just a hot pan and some oil and in they go. I have about a quarter inch of peanut oil in here. That's all you'll need for the frying. It only takes a couple minutes per side. You may need to add more oil in between each batch, but that's okay. That's completely normal. Now all you want to do is just flip them. Get your color on each side. And when they're completely cooked, just plate it on some paper towels, like this. It'll absorb all the remaining oil and fat that you want to get rid of before you start chewing on your shrimp. I like to use orange chili sauce for the dipping sauce. And it just comes in a bottle, so it's real convenient to just purchase in the Asian section. And there you have it coconut shrimp right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients